and welcome back to my channel and to my kitchen for a back to school inspired cooking video. I am Megan Fox and I'm a mom of three small kiddos who are all down for their naps at the moment. There is a thunderstorm brewing and I'm so excited to spend this afternoon with you all. Maybe a little more, we'll see how much I get done today, but it's just gonna be a cozy afternoon spent in the kitchen preparing back to school inspired recipes. I feel like the key to back to school cooking is all about the meal prep and the batch cooking. Why not cook once and eat all week? That's kind of what I think. I have a list of a bunch of different make ahead recipes that I want to do now. I filmed this video last year even though I didn't have anybody going back to school. This year I have my kindergartner starting school this year. So she will be leaving the home a couple times a week with a packed lunch. So I'm gonna be making some make ahead breakfast to store in your fridge or freezer. We're gonna do some baked goods, but non-traditionally. I have some cute lunch products I wanna show you guys. I have some things I wanna talk about today. And yeah, let's just spend some time in the kitchen together cooking for our families and maybe possibly also getting ready for back to school. So let's go. So if I'm gonna be in the kitchen all afternoon, I'm gonna have a bunch of things going at once. Plus trying to film it might be a little bit tough, but I'm up for the challenge. I think we can do it. So first of all, I'm just, I need to get silicone like pan liners, but I don't have those yet. So I'm just using aluminum foil and I'm putting bacon in a single layer. I'm gonna throw this in the oven at 375 for about eh, 15 to 20 minutes till it's done. And this can get done while I'm working on my little baking project I'm gonna do next. This is butcher box bacon, so it's the good stuff. So growing up, my mom always sent us to school with some kind of baked good. They were usually homemade, and um, I was trying to think what do I wanna do make this week, and I decided to make some good old classic Rice Krispie squares, but I'm gonna do them with a twist. If you have not tried this yet, definitely do. If you guys know, my cousin Jaina, she made them like this one time for us and they were so good. I knew I had to make them that way as well and they've been our new favorite. So instead of just melting the butter in with the marshmallows, you're gonna take your butter, which this recipe calls for three tablespoons, and I'm gonna put it in my little cast iron skillet here. And it's already preheated nice and hot. And I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna brown this butter. They're gonna be burnt butter Rice Krispie squares and they're gonna be so good. It just adds a really like nutty flavor to your Rice Krispie squares and they just taste more caramelized and I don't know, they're amazing. You'll never make them the same again. So it's actually okay if you burn the butter a little bit. It tastes great, but my goal is to get it right before it starts to burn. So you see the foam there, it's kind of um, golden. It's gonna get browner and browner. And while that's browning, I'm just gonna melt my 40 marshmallows. Might as well multitask. Okay, it's starting to foam and crackle, but that's not browned, not yet. Okay, it's actually starting to have a smell to it now. And you see how when I stir it, the brown butter comes up from the bottom and it almost looks like it's rust. Don't worry, it's not, it's just browned butter. So I'm just gonna let this go for maybe another 30 seconds yet and then take it off the heat and add that to my melted marshmallows. to get nice and hard before I cut it into blocks and wrap them up individually. Okay, I know we're moving very quickly here, but um, I am going to be making some Make Ahead breakfast burritos next. My family loves these, and you can te definitely put them in the freezer. I'll show you how I store them then later. For me, I just like to make enough for a week at a time, and then I'll just keep them in the fridge. They're fine all week there in the refrigerator, and you just pull them out and microwave them, or you can pop them in the oven if you wanna turn that on. I'm not even doing any fancy scrambled eggs. I'm literally just cracking eggs into my already brown buttered cast iron skillet, and then I'll just kind of break open the yolks and kind of scramble them up. You can totally make this however you want, but I'm doing scrambled eggs, cheese, and we love bacon. I have some sausage already browned in my fridge 
and mushrooms. Ivani loves mushrooms. She's my kindergartner this year. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten eggs. That's good enough for now because it's about five breakfast breakfast. Ah. I'm actually gonna go ahead and do all these eggs because her little brother and I will also probably eat the same thing for breakfast this week as well. Some kind of eggy protein breakfast is always my favorite in the mornings, but it makes so, it makes so much mess when you try to do it. So you can do any kind of make-ahead breakfast. I highly recommend. In fact, I have a whole video that you guys have loved in the past. I will link it up here in the cards. You can definitely watch that for way more make-ahead breakfast ideas. And I like to do seasoned salt, paprika, salt and pepper, a little celery salt. And since I have it on hand, I'm just gonna add a splash of heavy whipping cream. But yeah, these are so customizable. Like I said, you can use whatever size tortilla you like, flour or corn. I like flour. But yeah, super easy, and the best part is you can make them ahead of time. Ooh, listen to that bacon. It is sounding so good, smelling amazing. I'm switching to a mini spatula here. I should have probably not been using my whisk on my cast iron. I don't really want it to get all the browning scraped up off the bottom, so yeah, should have probably thought of that earlier. I would eat like half the pack of bacon. Anyway, I'm going to just layer everything into these tortillas right now. Um, the nice thing about making them ahead, you don't have to try to do it while the eggs are still hot or anything. You can wait till they cool down. I'll probably wait till they cool completely to wrap them up. But I like to um, assemble them while the eggs are still warm so the cheese kind of melts into the eggs. I don't know, it's just better that way, I think. <laughs> but I did want to give a shout out to ButcherBox once more. You guys know I work with them once in a while and we love them, we love getting their boxes right to our door. And I'm using their bacon here. I also have their sausage in the fridge I might use if I decide to make some of these into sausage ones. But you can pretty much get your meat all over the place. You know, you have options. But in my opinion, ButcherBox is one of the best because you know where your meat's coming from. They really focus on getting their meat from farmers who are doing a good job at treating their animals well. They have wild caught seafood, humanely raised pork, grass fed beef. Chickens, you know, they live happy lives. They're not in cages. They are free to roam. Their hogs are in pastures or even hoop barns. And it's just really neat to just see the whole mindset behind the brand ButcherBox. So you guys definitely need to check them out, especially right now because you know their bacon here is 100% nitrate free and sugar free. It's humanely raised, obviously, which I guess I shouldn't even say obviously because um, that's not always the case with some of the meat you can buy out there. Um, but right now, when you sign up using my link down below, ButcherBox is going to give you a free pack of bacon with every order for the lifetime of your membership. And also, right now, they, this is amazing, they're giving you $20 off your first five boxes. So the first five boxes you get, you're gonna save 20 bucks each time, which you guys can do the math, right? That's $100, so that's awesome. We get steaks from them and just so many other different cuts of meat that we love to try out in our smoker. They only work with farmers who treat their animals humanely and they have respect for our planet. They have four different curated box options you can choose from or I like to do the popular custom box so I can choose exactly what I want to come in my box. Anyway, I know a lot of you ladies who watch my channel have already subscribed to ButcherBox and you enjoy the meat coming right to your door as well. I'm just so proud that I get to work with ButcherBox again because I know you guys love them, I do too. And yeah, check into it for sure. Get that free bacon and the $20 off. You won't be disappointed.
breakfast burritos? Um, I don't know, anything, everything. I know, but... Oh, sour cream. Oh, you, yeah, he likes yeah. sour cream. Well, listen, gotta... I, it's not bad, I have to admit. Yeah. Um, but the whole Chick-fil-A sauce thing is, is good. We've actually done a couple different breakfasts, like camping in cabins and stuff, and you can be like, make your own breakfast burrito. And we've done like tater tots, because like Chick-fil-A does tater tots, and theirs, so good. Chicken, I love avocado. Um, salsa, that's kind of all last minute things you add at the end, but yeah. I just did basic cheddar and bacon, and we ran out of mushrooms, so there's no mushrooms in this one, but maybe next time. But yeah, it's super, super, like, everybody can like them unless you can't eat eggs for some reason or whatever, but mm -hmm. yeah, now they're in the fridge. Cool. You can have them too. <laughs> they're a little more Ivani size, but you can always eat two of them. And I'm just gonna put them in a Tupperware container like this, and so yeah, you could totally store them in the freezer, but as you can see, they're not actually sealed. I just use that as um, just like a transfer <laughs> way of transferring them without a big mess. And I'm putting them in my Tupperware container and I'm going to pop this in the fridge and these will last us a couple days at least. So Ivani is up from her nap. She is my soon-to-be kindergartner. <laughs> she wanted to help cut, so she's working on um, our next project we're gonna be doing. But I got these adorable wooden skewers on Amazon, and there's a ton of them, I think a hundred of them. I thought they would be adorable just to um, elevate lunches, make them more fun, but also her birthday party is coming up. And wouldn't it be fun to do kind of like a flamingo pineapple theme? Would that be a fun theme to do? What's a theme? Like, what do you want on your cake and on the napkins and stuff? Like when pineapples and um, flamingos and sunglasses, would that be a fun um, party theme? I want a flamingo. I want, when I, I want All of these, right? Oh, yeah. they're so pretty. And look like palm trees, like a, kind of like a jungle birthday party. Summer mm -hmm. jungle pineapple party. That would be fun. So Ivani loves Olive Garden Italian dressing and uh, we all do, honestly. So I'm just gonna give her a little dish of that in her lunch, and then I'm just gonna string on little meat and cheese cubes onto these skewers, and also olives. Bonnie loves green olives, so do I. So it's perfect. See, right like that. I also got these little sweet snack sticks from our bulk food store. If you saw any weird ingredients in today's video that just were like an odd brand to you. Um, I, there's a Mennonite bulk food store close to us that I love getting food at. They have an awesome deli. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna skewer these here. Ivani's gonna help me. And I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit, just something that's been on my mind. Look at the pineapple, Bonnie. So cute. Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel like I get very reflective whenever there's a big change in my life, which right now is, I'm soon gonna be a school mom. Um, I'm a little apprehensive about it, but I got to thinking, I'm 29. Um, my 20s are soon going to come to a close and I'm not at all ready to admit that yet. It sure doesn't feel like it yet. It's making me kind of sad realizing I'm not too young for about anything anymore. In fact, in like Olympic sport, I'm like retiring age, you know? It's crazy. Right now, people aren't going to say you're young. And I mean, I guess it's young to be like the president or a judge or something like that, I guess. But honestly, if people are calling you young, when you're my age, you're pro it's probably not a good thing. It probably means you have some sickness or yeah, something scary like that. So I don't know, it's just quite the thought to realize that. You know, there are people that are getting married that were born in 2002. Like, wow, I was in third grade at that point. Like, time flies, it's crazy. And I'm having a kid in school soon. <gasps> I'm not sure how I feel about that. I told Josh I'd rather celebrate my 29th and a half birthday so that I can celebrate that I'm still in my 20s rather than having a 30th birthday, then when my 30th birthday happens in December, it's always such a busy time of year anyway. I'd rather just forget that it even is my birthday and just make it a regular day, but, oh man, I'm sure that's not true. I'm sure it'll be extra sad if people will forget that it's my 30th birthday, but 
Anyway, what did you guys do on your 30th birthdays or what do you think would be fun? Um, I'm not a huge gift person. I'd rather have an experience. Our 30th, 30th <laughs> our 10 year wedding anniversary is also coming up next year, which is nuts. Um, that's in July of next year. So I think, um, yeah, we just celebrated our ninth anniversary. So I think it'd be fun to do something special for that too. Um, so maybe we could just like combine it all into one big thing. There is one caveat. My mom said she's not going to babysit my kids if we go out of the country for a while because it makes her nervous. Like what if we get stuck over there or something like that? And I'm like, fair point. So if we want to go out of the country, we have to go with our kids, but I think we should do our anniversary trip without the kids. I think it's going to be good for us. Miller will be a year old then if we go this winter. So I'm thinking maybe Sedona, Arizona, something like that. Um, go like dirt biking in the desert and sit by the pool with the red rocks up above our heads. I don't know, just a thought, it's fun to daydream. Anyway, I wanna plan that here soon because um, yeah, that's gonna sneak on, up on us before we know it if we don't start planning soon. So if you guys have any other like specific recommendations, I would love to hear hey, Mom, them. I'm done. You're done? Awesome, perfect. Are you gonna help no, skewer them? So Are you gonna, oh look at this, there's hibiscus ones. Oh my word, they're so cute. See that? And there's little um, Hawaiian shirts. What's a Hawaiian? Hawaii, and like in Hawaii. So it's a different state, kind of like Florida. Are these gonna be good in your lunch? I bet. Mama, do you know what you have to worry about? What? Getting poked. Yeah, mm-hmm. Do you still wanna do it? I guess what you could do is put it down on the wood and poke like that, and then poke it through. Oh, like cool. this, see, poke down, slide. So I need to go get my nine month old and my three year old up from their naps. We're going to Josh's ball game tonight. So I will pick this all back up again tomorrow and I'm gonna show you a really cool meal solution lunchbox idea I'm really excited about as well as a few other recipes. I need to cut those Rice Krispie squares yet and taste test them with you, so delicious. <laughs> quite the busy morning already. You may hear laundry going in the dryer. I got all those Rice Krispie treats wrapped up and ready to go. And I also started a batch of refrigerator dill pickles. Honestly, this is the recipe that I get asked about probably the most over on Instagram. And I did get it from Pinch and Swirl, but I'm gonna leave a link down to my website and my version of the recipe um, because I have made these countless, countless, like at least three dozen times in the last year. They're one of our family favorites. They take no canning at all. Honestly, they're probably on the top 10 for me and Ivani's favorite foods. We both love them so much, so I wanted to have those in the fridge ready to go. They make like a good little side to any lunch. I'll definitely put that down below in the description box for you. But right now, so there's nothing worse than a lukewarm lunch, and I don't want Ivani to have to deal with that. I'm gonna show you in a little bit how I'm gonna pack up. I found some, some cool stuff, um, and we're gonna see how it works out. I want to freeze some applesauce so that it is gonna keep her lunch nice and cold. My mom-in-law, um, helps us can applesauce every year. Super, super, super good. I always grew up eating frozen applesauce. That was my favorite because um, it was like slushy yet. But her version of canned applesauce is just
just, it's hard to beat, so delicious. So I'm gonna just break open a couple cans of those and I love these little five and a half ounce plastic containers. I got these from the restaurant store, but you can get these exact same ones at um, Walmart if you just look in the plastic section. They snap on really nicely, but I'm just going to decant the applesauce into these and throw them in the freezer. Maybe sprinkle a little cinnamon on top and they'll act like an extra little ice pack in her lunch. By the way, yes, I get so many questions about this dress. It is adorable, but it's from ThreadUp from a couple years ago, so there's really no way to get a hold of it. Um, but I do love it. Yum. I just made a bunch of popcorn in my little popcorn bowl. Garage sales are awesome for random things like that. But Ivani is going to be riding the school bus. I have no idea how long. Could be 10 minutes, could be 45 minutes. I hope not. But once we figure out what route she's on, we'll know she's allowed to have snacks on the bus. And if she is, that's gonna be awesome because then she can eat her little snack on the way home. And I was trying to think of some different stuff. The individual snack things are fine, but I feel like you, we always pick out the three things we like the most and the other two just like sit there and nobody wants to eat them. And so I just decided for this week, we will do a bunch of popcorn. I'll put them in little individual baggies. It's like the cheapest snack on the planet and it's so good. I can try to link my popper, but I bought it from Kohl's like years ago. I don't know, we'll see. But I really like those little air poppers. They're so fast and easy. My favorite popcorn is just the Lowry seasoning and butter. And then for this, I added um, this bulk powder that I get from the bulk food store, sour cream and onion powder. So good, I also have a cheddar cheese one, but that's orange, and I don't want her fingers getting all orangey on the bus. And I did think ahead, I got her a box of personal finger, like hand wipes, to keep in her backpack, because I know every time I'm away somewhere and I don't have my dinner bag with me, because the kids are at a babysitter or whatever, I'm always missing the baby wipes. They come in so handy. So I'm just gonna package these up individually and um, have them ready to grab and go as well. Like I said, this whole video applies to people that are not sending their kids to school too. Like, this is a great thing just to keep in the cupboard for any time. Although, who am I kidding? Warm popcorn is the best. Kids, you want some popcorn? Okay, so here's Ivani's little lunch situation and supplies. I picked up this Poppet lunchbox. It is so adorable. Um, it's just like very basic inside. There is a little mesh thing here. This thing opens up here partly, I think, to store things in. And then also so you can unpop your Poppets once you've popped them. Anyway, I thought that could be fun to pop while she's, you know, sitting on the bus or whatever. Um, but yeah, I got this off of Amazon. I can link it. And then I bought these little ice packs that don't weigh a lot. So I'll just slip a couple of these in here. And then we're going to set in her little Bentgo box. I got this one on Amazon. I will link it, but spoiler alert, it does not come in teal, even though that's what the pictures look like. It came in like this navy blue and I couldn't return it and get the other color because apparently that's not... I don't know, it's faulty pictures, I guess, but it seems like a very good quality, has all the little compartments, and it's just enough for her. This you could put applesauce in, but since I already have, you know, my own applesauce, I'll just drop that in there. Okay, and then I did mention how Aunt Ivani loves her Olive Garden dressing, so I'm gonna put that in this little section, not tons. She's gonna have fun opening and closing this, and then in that little container there, I'm just gonna add a few pickles. She loves these pickles. This section should be, I should probably fill the big section with the pickles <laughs> to make her happy. And then I'm just gonna give her her little skewers. So that'll be her nice protein. And then hiding under here in the bottom, I can tuck her popcorn and her little, wow, I should use more color in this dish, shouldn't I? <laughs> um, her little Rice Krispie treat. So there we go, it all fits in there nicely and snap shut and I can throw that in her lunchbox and it'll be ready for her when she wants it. her nice little lunch.
lunch and her water bottle. If you wanna see how I made this, um, check out my last video. I also showed you how to make, it's not September yet, that's just a mock-up, but I showed you how to make this calendar. Um, you guys can customize it to whatever colors you want and you can do it for practically nothing. So check that video out if you haven't. Also, don't forget right now ButcherBox is offering you $100 off across your first five boxes plus free bacon. And not just bacon, the good bacon, nitrate-free, sugar-free, humanely raised, all that. So check them out down below. Thank you ButcherBox for partnering with me. And I'll see you guys all in next week's video where it's going to be a sewing day in my life. Um, getting ready for back to school, but also just like some recipes and just living a day when I'm trying to get something done with little kids. So don't miss that one. I'll see you then. Bye everyone. We've actually done a couple different camping cabin trips. We've actually done a couple different camping cabin trips where it's just like make your own breakfast. We've actually done a couple different camping cabin trips where you just like, we've actually. <laughs>